If you haven't heard yet, popular budgeting app Mint is shutting down. What? I know, I was surprised as you probably are because Mint was one of the first budgeting apps to launch back in 2007. They were quickly bought out by Intuit in 2009. Anyway, current users of Mint have until the end of 2023 to find another app or really a, another way to budget their hard earned money. Because of this, we decided to look at eight alternative budgeting apps that may be of interest to current Mint users or really anyone looking for an app to assist in managing your money. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Now in today's video, I will be rather brief with each of the Mint alternatives, but in the next couple of weeks, we'll do a further in-depth look at some of these apps, which is another reason to make sure you're subscribed. And once you are subscribed, don't forget to go ahead and click that little bell so that you get notified when we release future videos. Let's get into it. The first Mint alternative is called Tiller Money. Tiller Money is certainly best for spreadsheet enthusiasts. The way Tiller Money works is that it allows you to connect your bank accounts, credit cards, and even investment accounts to Google Sheets or Excel. It then gives you templates and tools to do really do everything from creating a budget to tracking your monthly spending to saving for retirement. One pro is their pre-designed spreadsheet templates. Tiller Money comes with prefab Google Sheets that eliminate the need really to create your own spreadsheets from scratch. One con is that if you're not really a spreadsheet person, this app is definitely not for you. Tiller does give you a 30 day money back trial, but officially costs $79 a year. We did previously review Tiller, so if you wanna learn more, definitely head to our channel and you will find that full review on Tiller. The second Mint alternative is Empower. Empower is best for net worth tracking. Empower works by linking just about any financial account to Empower's app. Once it's linked, the dashboard gives you a complete snapshot of your money. Well, it's as much as a robo-advisor and really an online brokerage as it is a budgeting app, it performs the basic functions of budgeting quite well. One pro are its extremely powerful investment features. Empower's investment advice and support is second to none, especially in the paid version. Now one con is that the main emphasis lies in investing rather than budgeting. As mentioned earlier, the platform leans more towards investing than serving as a budgeting app. Due to this distinct focus, you may not find maybe some of the budgeting features that you might be looking for. Empower can be downloaded for free to use its basic budgeting tools, but does charge an $8 a month fee to open up access to its investment options. There is also a 14 day free trial opportunity. Third on our list of Mint alternatives is You Need a Budget, otherwise known as YNAB. That's Y-N-A-B and it is best for spending and trend tracking. Aside from all the features in YNAB that are typically included in budgeting software, the following aspects of YNAB are rather noteworthy. There's the reports. YNAB allows you to create and print a wide variety of reports from its easy to use interface. Income verse, expense reports, and net worth analysis are both available to the user. There's the income and spending tracker. YNAB offers an income and spending tracker that can't be beat. The app makes it extremely easy to watch money move into and out of your account because each dollar you budget for has a job in YNAB, you can see if every dollar has or hasn't fulfilled its goal. And getting into the pros, one pro would be its user friendliness. YNAB has an extremely simple interface and set of features. One con is that it takes some getting used to. For users of the more popular Mint, YNAB will require some time to get comfortable with it. While its user interface is extremely easy to use, it has a very different underlying philosophy and design. YNAB has no free version aside from a free trial, which lasts 34 days. You'll need to pay $14.99 per month to enjoy its features. If you pay annually though, you save by paying just $99 a year. Fourth on the list is Monarch Money. Monarch Money is best for those looking for an impressive interface and tracking financial goals. The budgeting app is functional with desktop and mobile and has great curb appeal. The dashboard gives you fast access to your most important budget details, including recent transactions, a comparison of income and expenses for the current month, and it also includes your net worth. It's rather easy to link bank accounts and credit cards, which the app then highlights your transaction and balance data 
the dashboard also offers you the ability to track goals. One pro is that Monarch Money is great for keeping tabs on all your subscriptions. And as we were reviewing, nothing really stood out to us when we took a look at the cons. You can test out Monarch Money for free for seven days. After that, it costs roughly $8.33 a month. Coming in at number five is Honeydew. Honeydew is best for couples. Honeydew's features all focus on coordinating the expenses and incomes of two or more people. It's useful for couples, obviously, but also roommates and anyone else who has to share expenses. We couldn't narrow it down to just one pro, so we have two pros. First, there's the in-app chat features. The app allows you to chat to your co-user, whether they're a romantic partner, a roommate, or someone else about specific expenses or general issues. The other pro is the ability to send money. That Honeydew lets you send money to your co-user from within the app so you can quickly settle up rent and pay those bills. One con is that it is iOS and Android only. The app isn't available from a laptop or desktop web browser. It's only available as a mobile app for iOS and Android. Honeydew is a completely free app to download. The sixth alternative to Mint is Pocketsmith. Pocketsmith has the best budgeting calendar. The features you get with Pocketsmith will depend on which version you decide to go with. The free version is significantly stripped down. It doesn't even include automatic bank account syncing. Pocketsmith originated as a calendar for scheduling future income and expenses, and now it has evolved into a comprehensive budgeting app. By syncing your accounts with Pocketsmith, you can not only monitor your budget and net worth, but also view your income and expenditures conveniently through a calendar interface. Two pros include forecasting, Pocketsmith's strength is undoubtedly its robust forecasting and predictions algorithms. The second pro are the scenario testing. You can enter a potential scenario like buying a new car or going to school and see how it will affect your future finances. One con is no bill payment functionality. Pocketsmith doesn't offer any online bill payment functionality. The premium version is where you'll really start finding some value with Pocketsmith. At about $10 per month, you can enjoy features like automatic bank account updates and 10-year account forecasts and projections. The seventh alternative to Mint is every dollar. Every dollar is best for zero-based budgeting. Every dollar follows the principles of zero-based budgeting in which every incoming dollar is given a job. In other words, you're meant to account for every dollar you earn so that each dollar is used, not necessarily spent appropriately. Every dollar chooses simplicity over features, which actually makes it one of its greatest features. Pros include the following, Ease of use, every dollar is about as easy to use as budgeting software can be. It uses the zero-based budgeting philosophy and its user-friendly interface makes for a very simple and easy to master experience. Another pro is it's laser focused on budgeting. Every dollar is narrowly focused on budgeting. It doesn't try to do too much or wander into related or peripheral areas. It does one thing and it does it pretty well. One con is that many features are missing in the free version. Every dollar might be too simple, especially the free version, which omits a ton of features and might leave users wanting more. Every dollar chooses simplicity over features. In fact, its simplicity is one of its primary features. Many of every dollar's features are hidden behind a paywall, so if you feel you'd benefit from them, you'll need to pay about $100 per year to access the paid version of every dollar. Our eighth and final alternative to Mint is Simplify by Quicken. Simplify is the best budgeting app for smartphones. The brand new app is designed from scratch and it uses automation to make handling your money easier. Imagine this, the app can create a spending plan by looking at what you earn and spend. It then spots regular expenses and subscriptions then adds them to your plan. Plus it comes with a calendar showing your upcoming bills Key features include seeing all your banking, credit card info, loans, and investments in just one spot. Your transactions get sorted automatically, helping you track recurring bills and those subscriptions. You can even cancel stuff you no longer need. You can check out upcoming bills, income, transfers, and see how they impact your balances. You can define goals for milestones you wanna achieve and keep tabs on returns and refunds. One pro is that it is great for managing all your finances, including investments under one roof. One con is that unlike some competitors, there's no free version. 
you'll have to pay annually to use Simplify after the free trial period. You can try Simplify free for 30 days, then the cost is as low as $3.99 a month. I just provided a basic overview of what each of these eight alternative budgeting apps to Mint have to offer for you. So how do you choose the right Mint alternative? Ultimately, that's gonna be up to you, but it can depend on several factors, including the device you'd like to use it on, maybe mobile or maybe your, your like desktop better. Really your personality comes into play, your goals and what you wanna accomplish, the fee structure you're looking for, whether or not you're going to be sharing with a spouse and how much you're willing to pay. Do you wanna manually log your expenses or have them automatically updated and categorized for you? These are a lot of things to think about when choosing the best way to budget your hard-earned money. Whether you're looking to reach your financial goals whether you're looking to reduce debt, save for a car vacation, save for your retirement, or your kid's education, hopefully you can now see that there are a variety of options besides Mint. Thank you so much for checking out this video and our channel. We hope you found some value, and if you did, please go ahead and give this video a like, and don't forget to comment below which budgeting app you prefer. I'll see you in the next video.